here is the question express each number as a product of its prime factors how will you do it this is very easy let me solve first one this is 140 we will use factorization method and we know that the unit digit is 0 then this number is divided by 2 can be divided by 2 and we get 70 as quotient again the unit digit is 0 so we can divide it by 2 and we get 35 as quotient now the unit digit is 5 so this number will be divided by 5 and we get 7 as quotient and 7 is a prime number it cannot be divided so we get at last 1 so the product of prime factors of 140 are 2 into 2 into 5 into 7 we can also write it as 2 square into 5 into 7 this is our answer of first question let us solve the question number second that is 156 again the unit digit is even so the number a can be divided by 2 when we divide it by 2 we get 78 as quotient again the unit digit is even so it will be divided by 2 and we get 39 as quotient uh, now we see that the sum of the digits of these 39 is 12 and this is is a 12 is multiple of 3 so this number uh, will be divided by 3 like this 3 plus 9 equals to 12 and this 12 is multiple of 3 so 39 will be divided by 3 we get 13 as quotient again dividing 13 by 13 we get 1 as quotient so the prime factorization has done and we can write the prime factors as a product like this 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 we can also write it as 2 square into 3 into 13. This is the solution of second question. Now we shall try the third one. Three thousand eight hundred twenty five. This is little bit big question. And we see that the unit digit of this number is 5, so it will be divided by 5. We get 765 as quotient. Again, the unit digit is 5, so it will be divided by 5. We get 5. like this. We get 100. 53 as quotient and we see that the sum of 1 5 plus 3 equals to 9 therefore this 9 is multiple of 3 so 153 will be divided by 3 again the sum of 5 plus 1 equals to 6 and this is the multiple of so 51 will also be divided by 3 and we see that 17 is a prime number so it cannot be divided except 1 except itself or 1 so the prime factorization of 3825 is like this
or we can write it as 3 square multiplied by 5 square multiplied by 17. This is the solution of this third question. Now let me solve the fourth one. And fourth question is 5005. First of all, we see that the unit digit is 5. So, this number will be divided by 5. We get 1001. And what we see that this 1001 will be divided by 7. We Again, what we see that this number will be divided by 11. So, again dividing 13 by 13 we get 1. Therefore, the prime factorization of this number is like this. 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. This is our answer. Now please come to the last part of this question and this is fifth part and that is 7429. We see that this number is divided by 17 and we get 437 as quotient. Again, we see that this number is divided by 19 to get 23 and dividing this 23 by 23 we get 1 as quotient. Therefore, 7429 equals to 17 multiplied by 19 multiplied by 23. This is our answer. This is the solution of all parts of first question. Thank you.